Hello and welcome to the latest core and product showcase. I'm sure when you check out the, uh, all the new gear, you'll be well impressed. I'm well impressed because it's helping me catch belting barbel and lovely fish just like this one. Another really unique product for Corum this year, the Super Light River Brolly, and it is super light, super compact. Fits inside all of our rod holders. It's really slim line. It's only 2.4 kilos, since it's got a thinner sort of graphite pole running through it. But it's the shape that makes it really unique. It's primarily designed for tight little swims like this one, and it really comes into its own when you fish it on a slope. So you can see inside of here, we've got storm pole attachments at the side if you want to peg it down if it's really windy you've got four pegging points at the back and one of the unique parts inside of here you'll see this is actually the inner pole from within the main brolly and if you take that out you can screw it in the back and i haven't even got to peg it out at all i can just push it straight into the ground of course i can use it as a traditional brolly as well but of course it comes into its own as a little shelter like this more than enough room for me my gear a chair a few bits of bait I'm sorted. Another really useful addition to the Superlight series are these new waterproof net sleeves. As the name suggests, they're very light and they're very easy to use. They actually take more than your nets. You can actually fit each one of these has got one of the fast mats inside and that's going to protect your car. It's going to protect your bag from all of your wet net and your wet fish care equipment. You can put your waist slings in there. You can put your wet waterproofs in there. It's going to keep them all nice and sealed. The rolled top maintains the waterproofness. And of course, at the bottom, they're actually tape seamed, just like a bivy or a brolly would be, so the water's not gonna leak out of the bottom. Really simple roll top design. And then if I open that up, you can see inside of there, I've got a net and my mat. And if I wanna attach it to my bag, on the back side, you've got a little carry handle if you wanna carry it. But of course, I can just take these clips and those clips correspond with the back of all our transition luggage. I can clip that on and off I trot. Are the new Neoteric boots. They're comprised of a soft PU material with 10,000 mil of dynamic waterproof protection. This will ensure your feet stay dry all year round no matter the conditions. 
The mesh lining makes these boots very breathable, whilst the thermoplastic sole remains durable and comfortable for those long roving sessions. Another benefit of the PU material using these boots is that it's super easy to clean. You just wipe them down and they'll be looking new again. new for this year we've got our deluxe river tripod our most stable river tripod ever made using a twin framed combination of anti-twist extrusions and cam lock adjusters so the twin frame can be adjusted while it's in use but it also means it packs away nice and portable for when it's in transit it's also really lightweight coming in at just two kilos Well now we come on to our new tackle box series. I love this range. I think for this autumn, these are gonna be really popular for the modern angler who understands exactly why we've made this tackle management system the way we have. Let's take a look at core and blocks. So let me quickly talk you through each individual item that comes in the range, and then I'll show you all the details. First up, and probably gonna be the most popular one, the fully loaded tackle blocks. This comes with a load of tools, scissors, a rig winder and a compartment box, a complete system for the thinking angler. We also sell the tackle box unloaded for guys who might already have some of the core and titanium tools and some scissors they want to use themselves, and they might want to use it with more compartments in it rather than putting the rig box and the compartment box inside. And that's available at an unbelievable price. That is so much tackle box for the money. And of course, all these other smaller accessory parts are all compatible. So we've got a little four slot bits blocks. You've got a longer compartment, which can take things like the tubes from your meat stops, your anti-tangle sleeves, your baiting tools as well. You put all your little knickknacks and the terminal tackle in there. And then we've got two versions of the rig blocks. This is a really clever rig winder. Let me show you how it works, because it really is clever. You've got a standard version, which you can keep inside the tackle box and they've got a deluxe version, which comes with its own built-in cover. So here we have the fully loaded tackle blocks. You'll notice it's a new size. We've moved away from the original ITM size tackle box, and that's for good reason. It's for what you actually want to fit inside when you're normally fishing. So something that you couldn't really do with the original tackle box was put items of terminal tackle straight inside in the packets. This new size that we've used inside of there that is basically the same size as just about every item of terminal tackle we sell and everybody else sells so i haven't got to cut down the packets or anything now i can just put them straight inside you can obviously move the dividers around to allow you more space inside and as you can see this whole top tray is a little work area as you can see it doesn't tip over or anything like that it stays perfectly level and inside of there we've got a full selection of tools a full selection of compartment boxes and we've also got this really cool little feature here for your scissors. Now the scissors are completely stuck in there. They're not going anywhere. But if I just pop them off this little thing here, that then slides out, take out my scissors, pop it back in again, click them back into place. That ain't going anywhere. Really, really cool. And obviously with the fully loaded blocks, you're getting really great value as well. You're getting one of the rig winders. So this rig blocks, 
that fits inside of there, no problem. Or keep a few rigs with you. And of course, you've got one of those four compartment boxes you can keep inside as well. Keep all your little knickknacks inside of there. It's got a little magnetic top, click that shut. And the whole thing is waterproof as well. So when I close that, you'll see inside of here, we've got a rubber gasket that runs along the, the whole of the inside of the tackle box. And it clips together very positively indeed. It's rock hard, it's sturdy, it suits my fishing down to the ground. I absolutely love it. So of course, not everybody wants to keep everything inside the packets. Although we have sized the tackle box, so our Corum terminal tackle and everybody else's terminal tackle can go straight in. You might want to keep things separately and organized in a four compartment blocks. As you can see, it's not just an ordinary um, accessory box. We've got magnetic attachments to keep it closed. It's a beautiful little khaki finish. We've got three smaller compartments that are actually quite deep. We'll take um, quite big items of terminal tackle. And then you've got an area here, which as I said before, is big enough for something like your tools, your anti-tangle sleeves, and any other bits and pieces you want to keep inside your tackle box. Neat and tidy. Can take it out as well. Pop it in my waders if I'm off for a little stroll somewhere or I'm off trotting or something. Brilliant little bit of kit. Next up, we've got the rig blocks. And I love this rig winder system. It solves so many issues because unlike lots of other rig boards on the world, you do not need any pins. Let me show you how it works. Across here, you've got a special little nipple that sticks out. We'll call it that because I don't know what else to call it. It's got a slot in the middle. Now that slot means if you're using a swivel, you can butt the swivel up against it and then just wind it around. And then you hook your hook into this part here, which is not foam, it's actually silicon. So it will last for ages. It's really nice and tactile, keeps all your rigs nice and safe. And of course, that little nipple, perfect for little loops as well. You can just keep winding your rigs around, hook it in. If you wanna keep going rig for rig for rig and putting the loops through the hook, you can do that as well. The other nice thing about this particular model is this top part comes away. So I can keep things inside of there like my anti-tangle sleeves. When I'm tying rigs for almost all of the core and fishing that I do, especially on the river for my carp fishing as well, I'm always using an anti-tangle sleeve and that is the perfect place to keep them. Well, if you're anything like me and you like to be prepared and have lots of different rigs tied up for different situations or different venues, the Deluxe Rig Box is the item of kit for you. It's just like the other rig box, but as you can see, it comes in its own sealed unit. Like all the other block stuff, it will go straight in the tackle box, but it comes apart like that. This little bit just keeps all your rigs safe. I can stick that in a side pocket or something on my bag and it's ready to go. I reckon these are going to take some explaining. Three new bait tubs. You've got your one pint, your two pint, and your three pint. Really simple, great price point. Nice sort of corny finish. You've got your weight measurements on the size on the larger versions, just as you'd expect. Perfect. So here we have the new super light waist sling. Comes in its own little carrier pouch. Made of the fish friendly super light material. Reinforced metal loops for weighing. And plenty of drainage holes in the bottom. Another handsome new product for those of you who like stick float fishing as much as we do is a new fine liner float. Now it's more of a traditional Avon style float, but it's got a carbon stem. So it, it follows the bait down beautifully. So when you're fishing like I am now with smaller baits like pellets and stuff, it's absolutely wicked. So unlike our bigger glide floats, with the big alloy stems, 
this enables you to fish with a bit more finesse when you may be fishing a smaller river, a chalk stream or something, or just fishing with a smaller bait like pellets or maggots or something like I am today. So come towards me, you've got another beautiful River Seven chub. And that's the fine line of float there, as you can see. It's available in a few different sizes. That's the largest one, a two gram. Absolutely brilliant for little runs like this. So as I was saying, while I was out in the river playing that lovely chub, we've got four different sizes in the fine liner range. And this 0.6 gram and 0.8 gram are really gonna come into their own as we come into the autumn and winter months. And you start fining down, fishing smaller baits and trying to catch as many fish as you can like that. The carbon stems mean that the float always follows the bait down rather than just sort of bobbing in like that and, and giving you an unnatural fall. So if you actually want to fish up in the water with maggots and bread, these floats are absolutely mint for it. And of course, you've got the two larger versions to use with some bigger baits like pellets and things like that, or as we have today, in a pretty quick peg. You haven't got to um, fish a great big float in a fast peg, you can get away with a fine liner. <laughs> So here we have the new Superlight reel pouch, except all sizes of reels, including the big pits. And it's also a great way of storing your reels when they're not attached to a rod. Works with this simple Velcro fastening system along here. Just pop your reel in, strap it over the rod, and you're ready to go. Maybe the super light material. As you know by now, it's durable, lightweight, and waterproof. Last but not least, we've got a new set of combi caps for our river feeders. So you can turn your open end feeder into a closed feeder using baits like hemp and maggots. And we're also selling combi caps for the original combi feeders separately as well. <laughs> 